Oregon fans and college football fans rejoice. Coming at you with 2024-2025 college football action post transfer portal ducks looking like a solid team once more with Dylan Gabriel at the helm, Evan Stewart, the big transfer from the Aggies, uh, among other big names filling out this roster. We're going to give them a go. We're going to put the ducks to the test in this video, but before I go any further, I have to do five things today. I can only take control in the fourth quarter. I must win the Big Ten Championship. I have to finish as a Heisman finalist with Dylan Gabriel or Evan Stewart. I need to finish with a top 15 offense, and I also need to take this team to at least New Year's Six Bowl. If I do all these things, I'm safe. If I don't, I have to drop and give you guys 100 push-ups. Make sure to subscribe because I'll be giving away things instead of push-ups in the near future. Looks like I don't need to do much as Jabbar Muhammad in the Oregon defense is already taking care of business, holding Michigan State to seven. Gabriel dropping back. We're going to find Evan Stewart with a spin move and a first down. Big play. Stewart, Gabriel, that newest connection in Oregon. Gabriel with a little bit of back spasms. Don't like to see him hitting the injury tent early, but this game's ours as we take the three points and go up 34-7. Game two is a much closer battle against the Terps as we go deep across the middle and complete fourth and seven. Second and ten. We're gonna go deep to Stewart, see if he can make a play. We just throw a costly pick. Read option, a little bit of read option for the QB as he gets a big hole there. Second and 10 for the Ducks. We're gonna go to our sideline, hit Stewart. Apparently he was out of bounds. I'm challenging the ruling on the field of that one. A little hazy on the replay here, but uh, that's a catch in my book. First down, Ducks. Right, big play needed here, third down. Gabriel's got a lane and a blocker. He's going in, four six, house call. Gabriel with the legs. Showing he's not just one dimensional, he's got two, two dimensions. Ducks up 28-17, taking care of business. Let's hit Stewart here with a nice catch and first down. Gabriel just gonna keep it, make some move, and gets the first down. Let's see what we got here. Big throw over the middle, finds Casper for six. Five touchdown passes on the day. Dillian Gabriel looking like a star here in Oregon. Rainy game in Illinois doesn't seem to matter much as we're up huge and we're gonna get up even more here in a second. Fourth quarter action, let's see what we can do. Gabriel keeps, easy six, 44 to 14. Ducks proven to be a powerhouse this year as per usual as Illinois is down by 30. Iowa in town, they're making things difficult on us with their defense as they do. Big catch by Bryant Jr. Ducks in danger as the opponent does score a touchdown. We need to get this offense moving. We do have all our timeouts. We have to find something here fast. And that'll do. Big play. Third and 17. Need a big play here. Can we get one? We find Stewart down the sideline. Massive play. Missed tackle. Stewart to the house. Ducks. Let's go. There's that Gabriel the Stewart connection when it mattered most. We take the lead with 53 seconds left. Third and one for added emphasis. Gabriel for six. We're on a Heisman chase after all. Let's get this dub. Gabriel in the Ducks having a relatively quiet night, but we find Evitt Stewart across the middle. Another first down. First and 10 just outside the goal line. We're gonna dump it off to our running back, Dollars. Putting up dollar signs and six. Sean Dollars. Don't know if he's actually still on the roster or if he hit the portal, so I apologize, but he was supposed to be our third street running back as I updated the first two, and uh, I guess our first two got injured, but dollars in for six from Gabriel. Got a man across the middle. It's Stewart once more breaking a tackle. Massive 42-yard play down to the first and goal line as we hand it off and touchdown. Sean Dollars again. Dollar signs for Sean. Okay, yep, I apologize. Sean Dollars is actually a Nevada Wolfpack player. Um, I did not know that as I was just updating the first couple depth chart guys in this roster, so uh, I'll make the appropriate changes here. Regardless though, our third string running back and the Ducks take care of the Huskies. It was a close one, tight defensive battle to the fourth quarter. Gabriel was able to pull away and get a win that was eluding them here in this regular season as the Huskies beat them twice in 2023.
Start of fourth quarter action. We got the Ducks in Nebraska in a tight 14-14 matchup. Finds a man. No, finds a DB for a pick. It's the two minute drill. We really don't want to go down to Nebraska. We got to make some things happen here as Gary Bryant Jr. gets open for 17. Nebraska, a team with true freshman Riola, should be able to fare relatively well. We force another pick. No way. I've done nothing but sell the Ducks as I've come in and thrown picks, but I'm driving here. Getting us quickly down into the red zone with 44 seconds left. This is one of those games that's going to absolutely destroy his Heisman stock. But we do find a man as we take a shot. Gary Bryant Jr. 4-6. Tying this ball game up, pending the extra point. But what a play. What a throw. What a catch. Let's hand this ball to Lamar. Let him cash in for an easy six. Jaden Lamar on the board. All right, it all comes down to this. Fourth and three. What do we do? We find our tight end. Ferguson couldn't connect. Nebraska. What a play by the DB. Nebraska beats us. Huge upset here, really. Didn't see this one coming. Nebraska knocks the 3C out of here. Wow. Ducks must have been out for blood here after absolutely dropping one against Nebraska as they're up pretty big against UCLA. Across the middle, we find Johnson with a one-handed beautiful snag. That was impressive. One up with a one-hand gripper. Boom. First down. First and 10 once more. Going back out to Brian Jr. He's got space. And he is in for six. Gary Bryant Jr., 48 yards to the house. Coach Prime and his team's got a bunch of dogs out here as we're in a battle. 21-21. Unfortunately for CU, Ducks want to rain on the parade. And as soon as I say that, I just throw a boneheaded pick. Uh-oh. The costly turnover led three points for CU. Let's see if we can get it back. Let's just try to get the first down. Priority number one. And we do that. Second and 11. This is big. Finding Lamar for an eight-yard reception. Third and four. Let's hurry up to the line. In fact, actually, let's use a timeout. Gabriel and the Ducks would love to find it all, but we're not going to force anything, honestly. Um, we don't want to get out of field goal range, as now it's fourth and one. We're going to let the clock wind down a bit and try to kick our field goal. Uh-oh. Coach says we're not close enough. So if Coach says that, we got to hurry. 18 seconds left. Oh, boy. This is big. Flood finding Casper. Big play. 11 seconds, then let's hurry up and take a shot. I thought we were in field goal range, and I was about to settle for that and go to OT, but uh-oh, we got some action. <laughs> Can we cash in? Let's make a quick play. We still have one timeout, so let's keep that in mind. As we look, we find we find Casper. Another big play, first and goal. Six seconds to go. Oh, boy, let's hurry to the line. Take one shot. This is crazy. I'm going to call a read option. A run play. This could be insane. This could pay off, or this could be a blunder. It's gonna, it's gonna pay off as he makes the cut at the end. I was not confident, but Gabriel puts the Ducks on his back with literally no time left against Dion and the Buffs. Man, wow, that was a drive. No problems in this one as Oregon is rolling, and we're finding Tez Johnson for a massive play. Gabriel and the Ducks, read option play. Can he get six? He dives in, makes it another touchdown. Oregon defense doing what they should, giving the Ducks some nice cushion to work. 27-10. First and 10, getting close. We're going deep to the end zone. Wide open, Tez Johnson, 4-6. Minnesota, the deficit continues as the Ducks are up by three possessions. It's Civil War out here, but it really wasn't a question this year as the Ducks really take care of business against the Beavers. 35-21, just a couple minutes left. The Ducks can just ice this one out, and they do. And with emphasis, as Gabriel, oh my goodness, that was filthy. Putting an exclamation point on this game and trying to seal up his Heisman campaign. My goodness, that was filthy. It's Big Ten Championship Week, and you see it. We're down. We need something, and that'll do just fine. Bryant Jr., touchdown. We're just right back in this game against USC. One seed versus the two seed. 
for the Big Ten Conference Championship game. And I throw a bad ball, an absolute atrocious ball. I don't even know if I meant to throw that guy. That's a pick, and that is costly. Man, what am I doing? We got a guy kind of getting open out here. Casper just drops it. This is, in essence, the game. As we find Bryant Jr. with the slant, eight yards, touchdown. And hold on now. Gabriel's not in there. This is our backup, Ty Thompson. Okay. Uh, we go for two. And we don't get it. Are you serious, man? That is going to, in essence, do it. We lose the Big Ten Championship on this play right here. Stopped for a loss. I don't know why Gabriel was out of there. He must have been hurt or something. And there he is on the sideline. Too banged up to get in there in the final play, I guess. And we lose the championship game. That one stings a bunch as we, the one seed, drop to the two seed, the Big Ten Championship. And uh, Ty Thompson transferred to Tulane. Um, and realistically, that might have been Dante Moore from UCLA. But the focus of this video is really Dylan Gabriel and not any backup Ducks players. So I did not take that into account. But regardless of who came in there in that last drive, I mean, clearly Dylan Gabriel was too banged up to finish it out. So that hurts. Hey, 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 what do you know? Dylan Gabriel gets the Heisman after a really good season for the Ducks. 3,539 yards, 651 on the ground, 39 total touchdowns. Very good stuff to see. Unfortunately, though, that brutal loss to USC took us out of the Natty Championship, but we still get a New Year's Six Bowl, the Cotton Bowl against the Texas Longhorns. Jordan James is back and healthy after tearing his groin back in like week two. Ducks are trying to mount this comeback as we are down by three. Finds James, a big catch. Absolutely massive third and goal. Stewart across the middle, drops it. Fourth and goal. We've got some OT action here in the Cotton Bowl. I find a man, Casper, across the middle. Big touchdown. We answer in OT. The big strike opens up the game. Finding Ferguson and getting us down into first and goal territory. First and goal, we want to cash in, get the lead. And we're going to try just doing that as we find Casper once more for another big touchdown. Triple OT thriller right now. Texas scored and got their two-point conversion. James answers right back. I just picked the play that's called cake read option, so this better be cake. Woo! Didn't feel like cake, but we got it. Come on now. It's a big play. I don't see anyone open. We can start scrambling with our legs, though. We got that for us. And we're going to go all the way for the house. Fumble! And forward in the Longhorns recover. And the Ducks lose the Cotton Bowl in the fourth round of OT. That is Zay Flowers-like in the AFC Championship game. Diving for the end zone. Getting that ball punched. Longhorns win. That is crushing. That is just... I don't know what's more crushing. That That is crushing. Like, wow. Play of the game. I feel defeated, Oregon fans. I'm sorry it ended this way. Not only losing the Big Ten Championship, but on a heartbreaking peanut punch to lose the Cotton Bowl. Pain. We feel pain. We feel pain. Wow, not much to show for this season at the end. Minus the Heisman for, for Dylan, but that's cool and all, but the team could not get the dub in the championship or in the bowl game as Ewers just cooked us alive. Six touchdowns, that man in the horns doing big things. Rip. Let's check back on our Oregon Ducks checklist. Only take control in the fourth quarter. Check. Win the Big Ten Championship. No siree. We did win the Heisman. We did finish with a top 15 offense and got to a New Year's Six Bowl. But because we lost the championship game, and I feel like because we lost the Cotton Bowl, I owe you all some push-ups.
coming.